From its humble beginnings in the 19th century to becoming a global football powerhouse, South America's journey in the world of football is nothing short of fascinating. We're delving into the rich history and evolution of football in South America. Without further ado, let's explore how South America conquered football. Origins. Now folks, this is how football took its first steps in the vibrant land of South America. Back in the 1800s, a time of exploration and European sailors dropping anchor in the bustling ports of South America. Among their cargo was something that would change the course of sporting history, football. Can you believe it? The roots of the beautiful game in South America go way back to these maritime encounters. European sailors, filled with the spirit of competition, kicked a ball around on the ports of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Little did they know, they were planting the seeds of a sporting revolution. Fast forward to 1867, a year that would forever be etched in the history of Latin American football. The Buenos Aires Football Club emerges from the shadows, creating a buzz that would reverberate through the years. It's like the birth certificate of Latin American football. The first official club, the Buenos Aires Football Club, laying the groundwork for the soccer-mad continent. But hold on, it's not just about the game itself. It's a cultural shift, a shift from traditional pastimes like bocas to the exciting allure of football. Schools and sports clubs became the epicenters of this craze, introducing the sport to the masses. And guess what? British culture, with its charming accents and love for kicking a ball, played a pivotal role in football's rise to stardom in South America. Football development and organization. Now picture this, South American football, a symphony of diverse strategies and talents, all orchestrated by domestic federations. These federations are the architects behind the football scenes in each country, shaping the destiny of the sport. And guess what? Most of them are part of CONMEBOL, the South American Football Confederation. It's like the Avengers assembling. But instead of superheroes, we've got football maestros joining forces. But here's the twist. Each South American country has its own football development infrastructure, paving the way for a unique journey in the world of football. From the bustling streets of Brazil to the scenic landscapes of Uruguay, the success levels vary giving each nation its own claim to football fame. And let's not forget the historical connection, the tie that binds South American football with the European heavyweights, especially England. It's like a soccer love story, introduced by the British, embraced by South America, and the rest is history. The echoes of this connection can still be heard in the cheers of the passionate fans and the tactical brilliance on the field. First World Cups. Back in 1930, the inaugural FIFA World Cup and Uruguay stepped up to the plate as the host country. But they didn't just host, they conquered. Uruguay emerged as the very first world champion, sending shockwaves across the football universe. Now let's flip the calendar to 1934 and 1938. The World Cup saga continues, and this time it's Argentina and Brazil carrying the torch for the Americas. These tournaments weren't just about goals and victories, they were about nations from the South American continent showcasing their prowess on the grandest stage. Argentina and Brazil. Two powerhouses representing the Americas and leaving an indelible imprint on the annals of football history. The echoes of their performances still resonate, reminding us that the roots of football glory run deep in the soil of South America. Latin American dominance. Now, let's talk about the era of unparalleled football supremacy. In the spotlight were the giants, Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay, orchestrating a symphony of skill and strategy that resonated across football fields worldwide. Fast forward to the 1962 World Cup in Chile. A pivotal chapter in the saga of Latin American football dominance, Brazil, with unwavering prowess, not only clinched victory, but etched their name in history by becoming the first country to defend their title. It was a defining moment, showcasing the relentless pursuit of excellence that characterized the Latin American football ethos. The 1962 World Cup was a testament to the enduring impact of Latin American football, where the samba rhythms of Brazil echoed in every goal. The precision of Argentina's play left spectators in awe, and Uruguay's resilience stood as a symbol of unwavering determination. This period marked a turning point, solidifying the region's reputation as the epicenter of football excellence. As the football world watched in admiration, Brazil's consecutive triumphs in 1958 and 1962 became emblematic of a new era. 
The charismatic style of Pelé, Garincha's dazzling dribbles, and the tactical brilliance of their teams painted a canvas of football artistry that captured the hearts of fans globally. Yet, this dominance was not confined to the World Cup. Throughout this era, Latin American teams left an indelible mark on other prestigious tournaments and international competitions. The Copa America, a stage graced by the likes of Maradona, Zico, and Francescoli, witnessed the relentless pursuit of glory by teams that had perfected the balance between flair and finesse. While European nations evolved tactically, the Latin American football philosophy remained an unmatched force. An amalgamation of skill, creativity, and a deep passion for the sport. The echoes of cheers reverberated across stadiums, transcending borders, and uniting fans under the banner of Latin American football. Evolution of playing style. Now let's talk about how South American football got its groove. Back in the day, the game here had a British vibe. You know, sturdy and tough. But over time, things changed. And not just about winning. They kicked off a new way of playing, ditching the old school power play for something more nimble and skill focused. They called it El Toc, and it was all about handling the ball like it was an extension of your own foot. Think less bulldozer, more ballet dancer. Suddenly, South American teams were like artists on the field, weaving plays that looked more like a dance routine than a sports match. Fancy footwork, killer passes. It was a whole new ball game. This wasn't just a change in style. It was a statement. South American football wasn't just about muscle, it was about finesse, and the world couldn't get enough. People from all corners tuned in to watch the magic happening on those fields. Now, let's zoom in on the stars who turned South American football into a showstopper. It's not just about the teams, it's about the players who etched their names into the beautiful game's history. Enter the legends. Pelé, the Brazilian sensation whose every touch seemed like poetry in motion. Maradona, the Argentine maestro who hand of godded his way into folklore, and Suarez, the Uruguayan striker, with a penchant for jaw-dropping goals. These players weren't just kicking a ball, they were creating moments that fans would replay in their minds forever. Pelé's hat trick in 1958, Maradona's 86 hand of god, Suarez's last minute heroics, these are the scenes that become immortal. And it wasn't just about the big tournaments. South American leagues became breeding grounds for future superstars. The stadiums echoed with the cheers for each goal, and the streets buzzed with excitement as fans debated the brilliance of their favorite players. International club competitions. Now, let's shift our focus to the thrill beyond national borders. The international club competitions that add an extra layer of excitement to South American football. Two tournaments take the spotlight the Copa Libertadores and the CONCACAF Champions League. The Copa Libertadores, with its dramatic knockout clashes and iconic moments, pits the best club teams from South America against each other. It's not just about winning a trophy, it's about earning the right to represent the continent on the grand stage of the FIFA Club World Cup. And then there's the CONCACAF Champions League, where South American clubs face off against their North and Central American counterparts. The battles are intense, as teams strive for regional supremacy and the chance to compete on the global level. These competitions serve as a proving ground, showcasing the skill, determination, and resilience of South American clubs. Every goal scored and every save made reverberates beyond borders, emphasizing the continent's football prowess. South America's conquest of football is a story of passion, skill, and evolution, from its early days to the present, the region continues to influence and shape the beautiful game. Stay tuned for more football history and exciting stories. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep the football spirit alive.